Between 200 and 2,000 species become extinct annually. It's crazy to think just how many animals will no longer be around soon, but some are a bit hardier than others. From a frog that clucks like a chicken to a parasitic fish that survived four extinctions, here are 15 prehistoric creatures that might still be alive today. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. Number 15. Turtle, 250 million years old. Turtles might not be the quickest off the mark, but they're one of a few prehistoric creatures that have managed to hold their own when many others succumb to evolutionary hardships. Turtles have been on this earth for 250 million years, and while they've evolved in their looks and behavior, they're still as hardy and as slow as they have always been. Turtles of several million years ago used to be about 10 feet long and weigh around 2 tons. They didn't always have a shell either. Researchers believe that turtles have survived a mass extinction because of their aquatic lifestyle and slow metabolism. Being in the water protected them from whatever killed the dinosaurs, and they could survive on few resources. They also picked up survival skills along the way. They grew shells to protect them from predators, which is sure to have helped them last the distance. Turtles used to have teeth and eat meat, and were even known to eat crocodiles. Turtles today are a bit more health conscious and live on plants and fruits. Turtles might be smaller and a bit daintier than they used to be, but there's no denying they're more robust than dinosaurs. After all, who's here today? Not the dinosaur. Now it's time for the star topic. We recently discovered this crazy photo, which shows a dinosaur in a body of water. It looks to be a raging river with a rainforest backdrop and not a human-made structure in sight. Is this a dinosaur? Is it the Loch Ness Monster? How did the person taking this photo get to even be where they are? We're unsure whether this is a doctored image or a real prehistoric creature, so what do you think? Photoshop or a creature long thought to be extinct? Comment down below with the hashtag star topic and we might pin the best comment in relation to this image. And without further ado, on to the next topic. Number 14, Pygmy Right Whale. 23 million years old. The pygmy right whale, thought to be around 23 million years old, might be alive today, or it might not. It's that elusive, hidden, and rare that it could entirely die out and no one would be any the wiser. Who's to say it hasn't already? Thought to be one of the rarest whale species in existence, the pygmy right whale has only been spotted a few dozen times. There are few fossils, few live specimens, and therefore not a lot of information about them. Scientists aren't overly sure what they eat, how they reproduce, or how they act. With the little information they do have, they've been able to ascertain that this whale is one of the smallest at around 21 feet long and approximately 7,700 pounds, and they live in the cold waters of the southern hemisphere. They also have an arched snout, which is unlike most other whale breeds. The last fossils to be found of the pygmy right whale were in Italy and Japan. From those fossils, scientists ascertained that this whale might originate from the baleen family up to 25 million years ago. Not a great deal of information is available on their diets, but the size of their lungs and heart suggests they don't dive deep for food. Scientists assume their diet consists of euphosiids and copepods and the odd snack of krill from time to time. Number 13. Purple Frog, 130 million years old. If you mistook the purple frog for a blob, then you'd be forgiven, for it looks more blob than frog. Could that be why it's one of the few prehistoric creatures to have survived mass extinction? The purple frog has been around for 130 million years, and you can only find it in southern Indian mountain ranges. It's of an earthly purple hue and has darker and lighter brown bits on its feet and stomach, and it lives underground, at least most of the time. The purple frog also looks more like a mole than a frog, almost like it's going through an identity crisis. It has a pointed nose and rounded body that seems a little disproportionate. It's also fatter than other frogs and weighs about as much as a baseball. The purple frog couldn't get any more unfrog-like if it tried. It lives on termites and ants and sucks them up as if it were a mole or anteater. It also doesn't croak like a frog, but rather clucks like a chicken. We think the purple frog's a little uncertain about its identity. Number 12, Gharial, 200 million years old. 
The Garia looks like a cross between a crocodile and a hair comb and has been around for the last 200 million years. It outlasted the dinosaur and many other prehistoric creatures, and it's not hard to see why. It has razor sharp teeth that interlock to stop its prey from escaping, and it can weigh as much as 1,500 pounds. The Garia likely scared extinction away. This prehistoric creature looks very similar to a crocodile, but with a few differences. It can be any number of colors, from black to olive green, and it has big, bulging eyes within a small head. The gharial also has weak legs compared to a croc and has to drag them under its belly when it's on land. Sadly, the gharial is critically endangered, so while it's been here for 200 million years, its future looks uncertain. There are only thought to be around 200 of them left in the wild in Pakistan, Bangladesh, and India. Number 11. Giant Chinese Salamander, 170 million years old. The giant Chinese salamander is one of only two giant salamander species still in existence, and this fella's been around for 170 million years. While its critically endangered status means it may not be around for much longer, it's still exciting to know that such a large amphibian is still battling on. The giant Chinese salamander can reach lengths of up to 5.9 feet and weighs up to 110 pounds. They live on fish, crabs, worms, insects, smaller versions of themselves, and shrimp. It's fair to say they'd rack up quite a bill at any seafood restaurant. Unlike fish, giant Chinese salamanders don't have gills, even though they live underwater. They somehow absorb oxygen through their skin. During breeding season, the female can lay up to 500 eggs, and the male looks after them while they hatch. It's unknown how much longer this amphibian can hold out without intervention, but we're all rooting for its survival. Number 10. Lamprey, 360 million years old. Lamprey is a type of parasitic fish that has survived four evolutionary extinctions. It mainly exists in the Atlantic Ocean, and most people will be quite pleased about that. They really are quite horrifying to look at. They have no jaws, but instead have a mouth that looks like a suction cup. Their tongues are razor sharp, and their mouths are full of horn-shaped teeth. But it's not the teeth you should be worried about, it's the tongue. It can latch onto any other fish, scrape away its scales, then devour its flesh, blood, and whatever other nutrients it can get. They essentially use their mouths like vacuums to get their dinner. To the general population, the lamprey's just another fish among several thousand species, but scientists believe it's quite unique. It's one of few animals that can regenerate parts of its body, including its spinal cord. Even if its spinal cord is completely severed, it can regenerate it from paralysis to full mobility in about three months. This ability could hold the key to nerve damage injuries and how to heal them in humans. Alongside finding out how their body works, scientists were equally as intrigued to discover that it hasn't evolved all that much. Records show it got slightly longer, but it's still in the same form today as it was 360 million years ago. Number 9. Cockroaches, 200 million years old. There won't be any doubt in your mind why cockroaches survived a mass extinction. These creepy, crawly critters are impossible to kill. They can live a week without a head by breathing through holes in their body and only die because they aren't able to drink. They can even survive without food for a whole month. If you thought that was the end of their mad skill sets, then you'd be wrong. They can hold their breath for 40 minutes, will survive being submerged in water for 30 minutes, and can run three miles per hour. They also love alcohol. What kind of crazy critter is this? There are 4,000 cockroach species in existence, and the cockroach as a whole is even older than the dinosaur. Given that it can tolerate high levels of radiation, we're not surprised it's lasted the distance. Number 8. Elephant Shark, 420 million years old. The elephant shark is a vertebrate related to sharks and rays that have been around for 420 million years. According to Nature, a scientific journal, it's the slowest evolving vertebrate in the world and can be found off the coasts of Australia and New Zealand. Elephant sharks have snouts that help them to hunt for shellfish in the sand. Their snouts are also covered with sensors that enable them to pick up electrical currents and sounds. Most fish glide effortlessly through the water, but not the elephant shark. It has large appendages that look like wings to launch itself through the water. Not all that dissimilar from a manta ray. The elephant shark may be prehistoric, which means it's had plenty of opportunities to evolve, but it hasn't. It looks very much the same as what it did 420 million years ago. Number 7. 
Nautilus, 500 million years old. At half a billion years old, Nautilus, a type of shellfish, is older than dinosaurs by 265 million years. It's found in the Great Barrier Reef, Andaman, Fiji, and tropical waters at depths of 2,200 feet and is considered as a living fossil. Nautilus have chambered shells, 100 tentacles, and a muscular hood, which helps it fight predators. Even in half a billion years of its existence, the Nautilus has changed very little. It grows to a around 10 inches in diameter and has a white to orange shell with brown stripes. How this unique and ancient shellfish moves is incredible. Each of its chambers is filled with water and gas. By changing the gas content, it can change its buoyancy. It then ejects the water out through a siphon, which offers jet propulsion movement. It can move up, down, forward, and back. This incredible critter has a parrot-like beak that it uses to slice its food, and its radula, another organ, grinds its food up before it swallows it. It dines on crab, fish, and shrimp, be it dead or alive. For the most part, Nautilus will hang around on the sea floor, but will typically launch upwards as the sun sets in search of food. While not everyone will get the opportunity to see this shellfish in person, it's exciting to know that it's been around for hundreds of millions of years. Number 6. Imperial Scorpion, 400 million years old. While not quite as prehistoric as the Nautilus, the Imperial Scorpion is still quite an impressive creature that's still alive today. It goes by the name of Emperor Scorpion and is the largest and oldest in the world. Oddly enough, it hasn't evolved or changed much since it came into existence. The Imperial Scorpion is native to West Africa, but is prevalent in many different places around the world. You'll mostly spot them in tropical forests and open savannas close to termite mounds, in litter and debris, in burrows, and other under rocks. They weigh around 1 ounce, grow to up to 7.9 inches long, and glow fluorescent under UV light. Their natural blue and green coloring make them easy to spot and avoid by humans. The way they detect prey is pretty neat. They have sensory hairs on their tail and pincers, and use these to detect vibrations on the ground and in the air. While the Imperial Scorpion might be quite terrifying to look at, they are a scientific marvel we're quite pleased that they are a prehistoric creature that's still alive today. But their venom may have properties that can protect humans from bacteria and malaria. In saying that, their sting is still pretty painful, and they use it for hunting at night along with their pincers. Number 5. Goblin Shark, 125 million years old. You've gotta admit, not all animals in the wild are as cute and cuddly as kitties and puppies. Prehistoric creatures like dinosaurs were not a 10 on the attractiveness scale, and goblin sharks certainly weren't either. Goblin sharks are a prehistoric creature that's been around for 125 million years, and still is. They grow to about 13 feet long and live in the dark depths of the ocean, as deep as 4,300 feet. It's probably a good thing they do, too, for they're quite a scary-looking form of marine life. Their blood vessels show through their skin to give them a pink or red pallor, and they have an odd-shaped jaw that allows them to sweep their prey up in the most unusual fashion. They can also blend into their surroundings, so you never see them coming for you. The goblin shark's snout is relatively unique as well. It's what's known as a rostrum, which looks like a blade and functions as a prey detector. Its tiny receptors pick up electrical fields which enable it to sweep over the seabed and scoop up a snack or two. So far, it hasn't been possible to keep the goblin shark in captivity, and its preferred living quarters are quite far down, so sightings of this prehistoric shark are rare. Number 4. Frilled Shark, 80 million years old. Let's take a vote. All those in favor of the frilled shark being a prehistoric creature that isn't alive today say aye. There are no two ways about it. This 80 million year old cousin of the great white and hammerhead shark is a monster. It has six gills, 300 sharp teeth, and a hinged jaw. It's more like an eel than a shark and hasn't evolved all that much in 80 million years. Their small, sharp teeth make it challenging for prey to escape once they are in its grasp, and they can bend their entire body while lunging forward like a snake. Let's be thankful the frilled shark prefers to hang out a 
depths of between 3,900 and 5,150 feet. Any closer to the surface and we'd be a little worried. They swallow their prey whole, have 25 rows of teeth, and even have spines known as dermal denticles in their mouth. They also grow to average lengths of 4.9 feet, but females are often shorter. The female also has one of the longest gestation periods of 42 months, which is sure to make most human females feel a bit better about their 9-month pregnancy. Fortunately for those who are a little squeamish, the frilled shark is rarely found alive by those who spot them. Number 3. Modern Day Kraken Colossal Squid Sailors often spoke about a monster at sea that was capable of devouring man, and a lot of other big stuff too. While the monster became a legend known as Kraken, modern day researchers believe it's likely what those sailors had seen was the Colossal Squid. The Colossal Squid can grow to as long as a minibus, up to 46 feet, and has eyes measuring around 15 inches in diameter. It's definitely not a sea creature you'll want to see in a dark, watery alley. They weigh around 1,650 pounds, and while they look similar to a giant squid in many ways, their tentacles and arms differ significantly. Instead of suckers and small teeth, they have swiveling and three-pointed hooks, which are sharp. The colossal squid is thought to be as big as it is due to abyssal gigantism. This phenomenon affects creatures who live deep in the ocean, which makes the same species who don't live as deep in the sea far smaller. It currently exists within thousands of miles of southern South Africa, the southern tip of New Zealand, southern South America, and north of Antarctica. Pencil those locations in your diary as where not to visit for a creepy prehistoric creature encounter. Number 2. Giant Ground Sloth Megatherium The giant ground sloth, also known as Megatherium, is a distant relative of the modern-day sloth that may or may not exist today. Experts believe it became extinct around 4,000 years ago, but native people in South America swear it still exists. The Megatherium was the size of an elephant and, fully grown, weighed around 4 tons. It lived across the South American continent and up to Colombia and was one of the largest land mammals of its time. While it would have walked on 4 legs for most of its life, it stood up to 13 feet tall whenever it reached for food. These giant sloths lived during the Ice Age and evolved into those you see today. They lived along rivers and lakes and also preferred forests. Many people believe that by the end of the Ice Age, around 11,700 years ago, they became extinct. That's not to say that they don't still exist. Rainforest natives believe they have seen them deep in the jungle, and others say a giant creature with matted fur fitting the description of a giant sloth has been seen in South America. We may never know for sure, but we think this prehistoric creature is pretty cool all the same. Number 1. Megalodon Shark over half of Americans say they're scared of sharks. Great white sharks can grow around 16 feet long, so yeah, they're a bit scary. However, the great white has nothing on the megalodon shark, which is undoubtedly gonna give your phobia some real merit. The megalodon shark was the biggest shark in the world. It went extinct around 1.5 million years ago, but not everyone is convinced that's entirely true. After all, how much of the ocean have we really seen? Most people are probably just hoping it's true. This shark used to grow up to 60 feet long and was the apex predator of its day. Nothing could stand in this shark's way, which makes it quite surprising that it succumbed to extinction. Global climate conditions and fierce competition for food may have been to blame. The megalodon, regardless of how it died out, was impressive. It had enormous teeth that are still being found fossilized today and could open its jaw wide enough to fit two humans side by side. In that jaw were 276 gnarly teeth that could chomp down on anything it pleased. Some deep sea fishermen claim they have seen sharks far larger than a great white, which has made some people question whether the megalodon is still around. But we're not gonna go and find out, for no one needs to see another Jaws remake. Are you shook to your core? Some of these prehistoric creatures are insane. Which one surprised you the most? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.